Hey guys, this is One Shot Zero Kills with David. This is my third video in my Making Your Own Minecraft Mod tutorial. If you haven't seen either of my uh, first two videos, I suggest you go watch them now. Alright, so to begin, uh, let's go to run percent app data percent, and we're going to back up our Minecraft saves. Alright, so once that goes, go to dot Minecraft. Saves. Actually, just uh, copy the save folder. And I'm just gonna make a new folder somewhere. Just make sure you like record where, so you know in case something gets messed up when modding. Just paste that folder in there, and you're good. Alright, now that that's done, uh, we're going to start modding. Uh, first step is to download Mod Loader. So go to, go to Google and type that in Mod Loader. That's the first link. Alright, so. We need to download this and put it in our Minecraft jar. So you're going to go to scroll down. You're going to click uh, download direct. Alright, and then uh, I would choose open with WinRAR zip. Uh, click OK. Alright, now that it's finished, what you want to do is you just want to highlight and copy all of this. And then we want to go and navigate to our Minecraft jar. Which run percent app data percent. Go to dot Minecraft uh, bin Minecraft. I'm gonna double click on that to open it up. And all we do is we just paste that stuff in that we copied. And just click OK. Now that's done. And the important thing uh, is here that we backed up our saves in case something goes wrong. Because it can corrupt saves and cause Minecraft to crash otherwise. Alright. So now, uh. Now we're going to open MCP again. And, uh, we want to make another directory for MCP for this uh, new mod that we're making. Alright, so let me navigate to that. So if you downloaded it like I did, it should just be like basically in the same spot. So computer C users uh, whatever your username is, then in downloads. So um, it's this one M MCP43 and maybe different for you though, depending on uh, when you watch this. So we're just gonna highlight all this, extract to. And I'm just going to call this uh, modding tutorial 2. Click OK. Alright, now we're going to do the same that we did before in the last video. Copy your bin and resources folder. And paste that uh, where, to where you save. Hold on. Tutorial 2, paste that in the jars folder of the MCP. And then once that's done, we have to decompile it again. Alright, so that's done. Now we go to bin, copy the Minecraft jar out of that. Let's paste that here. Now we go actually uh, decompile it now. So I'm decompiled that bad. And write that, let that run. Uh, it's going to say modified jar detected. That's just because we installed uh, mod loader. It shouldn't be a problem. Alright, now that that's finished, uh, if you see this error here, uh, don't worry about it. It didn't really do anything. Uh, it's not a problem. Just Press any key, uh, and now we're going to go and 
into a clips. So I'll just skip ahead to that part because you guys already know how to do that from my last video. Uh, in case you guys forgot how you switch it, you go to File, Switch Workspace, Other, and then you have to browse. Uh, I call this the Modding Tutorial 2. And then you go to Eclipse, and OK, and then OK. And then, alright, so now that it's done building the workspace, we're going to delete out the server because we're not working on that right now. Alright, now if you go to the client source, net.minecraft.source you're gonna see that it added a couple of new files like base mod and if you scroll down uh, mod loader uh, this is just uh, really helpful for making your own mod alright so to get started I'm going to right click on that net.minecraft go to new class we are going to call this mod underscore capital M Y capital M mod. So mod underscore my mod with capital M's. And let's click finish. Alright. After that, we're going to write extends base mod. Make sure the B is capitalized and the M is capitalized. And if you do that right, you'll get an arrow right here. So hover over that and click add unimplemented methods. Then change uh, where it says null, uh, put qu double quotation, 1.7.3, another quotation, and that's it. And then you shouldn't have an error over there anymore. Alright, now for a constructor, public mod underscore my mod. It has to be the same as your class name, so just copy and paste that. And then uh, two parentheses and the squiggly brackets. Alright, so in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to make your own block uh, that you can craft from whatever from whatever recipe you want. I'm going to make mine a flint block. So public, static, final, block, and then whatever your block name is, I'm going to call mine flint and capital B block equals uh, parentheses, new, block, parentheses, and this, this is whatever item ID you uh, want to use. If you go to block.java, if you scroll down, you can see what block IDs are already taken. So it looks like the last one's 96. So just to be safe, I'm just going to use like 150. And the max that you can use is like, a, I think, 255 or 256. And then, uh, comma, material dot. And then you pick whatever material you want it to be. Um, I'm going to make mine rock. I think that just means uh, you have to use a pickaxe or better in order to mine that. Alright, and now dot set hardness. I'm going to do a 5.5F dot set set resistance as it's called. I'm going to do a 100F that set block name. This is not actually the name from the tooltip text. This is just uh, an internal name if you want to refer to it while programming or something like that. Uh, you guys really don't have to worry about that. But I'm just going to name it the same as what I called it. So flint block. Alright. So now that that's done, let me uh, make it a little bit bigger so you guys can see better. Alright. Now we have to uh, set tell mod loader that we made this block. So mod loader dot register block flint block or whatever you call it. And an important thing to point out is that Java is case sensitive. So if I have that with a lowercase f and a capital f and a capital B, and that would be a totally different block. It's just important to point out. All right. So now that we've registered the block, uh, I'm going to add a name. So mod loader, capital M, capital L, dot add. Add name, uh, flint block, or whatever you called it. And then this is what you want to uh, see when you mouse when you mouse over it. So it's like tooltip text. So flint block. 
Uh, and you have to, whenever you're putting like a name or something like that, uh, you put it in double quotations. That's the same as a string, which is basically like a list of characters. Uh, and then uh, mod loader. Hold on. Uh, it's flint block dot block index and texture equals mod loader dot add override. And this is a forward slash uh, terrain dot png. And this one, uh, this is whatever you saved it in. Uh, I'm going to change this later uh, when I compile it and see what my folders are, but uh, I guess we'll call it my mod flint block dot png. We will, we will worry about that later, alright? The next thing we're going to do is uh, add a recipe for making this block. It's going to be my loader dot add recipe down here. The first thing is an item stack, and the next they'll get to later. So to make a new item stack, you do new item stack. Make sure they're capitalized, the INS, parentheses. Uh, then whatever the block or the item you want it to be. So I'm going to be flint block, comma, one. And the one is the amount, like how big it is, how big the stack is. All right, so now we're done with the item stack. And now for the object, we have to do comma, new object. Uh, then these square brackets, and then we need a squiggly bracket, and then another squiggly bracket, which you will make, and make sure you add a semicolon at the end of that. Alright, so this is going to be the recipe. So at most, you could send it like three strings. So xxx space, uh, that'll be like little, that. Now, if you were to look at this, uh, this one's on top, this one's in the middle, and that one's at the bottom. That's the shape of a pickaxe. So that's basically how you say the shape. So for this, I'm just going to do a, I'm going to make it a 2x2 two two square. Alright, and now we need to say what those uh, X's represent. So after you've uh, made your, like, the format or whatever, after you use a, uh, so now we need to say what those X's represent. Now you have to do this for every single character that you use. So it's comma after you uh, put the strings. After you put the strings, uh, we need to say... Alright, now we need to say what those characters represent after you finish all those strings. Do that. You After the strings, you put comma, then character, that value of... And then whatever character you use, it's a uh, apostrophe and then a character. Then after that, you do whatever that represents. So I'm going to do item dot flint. Okay, and that's that. Now it's important to say that if I would have added another thing like a, then I would do character dot value of apostrophe a, and then comma item dot arrow or whatever that represents okay and all right so I'm gonna get rid of this uh, comma right here and get rid of that and then it's also important to point out that Java is case sensitive so if this was a lowercase uh, that wouldn't work